Good morning. It's Deb Watson with an easy watercolor card. You can trace this from the outline in the free lesson at debwatson.org. I'm going to start by wetting down the paper. For the background, I'm mixing cerulean blue and ultramarine blue. You can use any pretty blue you like. And I'm just kind of laying it on and letting it spread. You'll get the prettiest wash if you just let the water do the work. Well, I'm not going to get close to my subject with that big brush, so I'm switching to a very small brush. And your brush needs to have a good point. That makes it a lot easier. This little guy was wearing a coat that was too big for him. I think it was probably his brother's coat, but it worked just fine to keep him warm. You can make your figure into a girl, a boy. You can go with the too big coat. You could put on a scarf. Make it your own unique card. I'd like it to be lighter around the edges, so I'm just lifting it up with a paper towel. And then I'm adding more paint where I want it darker. Once you're happy with it, dry this very well. The face color you can start with yellow and brown and then add just a little bit of red. For the black hat and pants, I'm using my own mix, but check the instructions for some recipes on how to mix a good black easily. And if you like this video, be sure to give me a thumbs up. It really helps me get my videos out and get people painting. I'm starting with the sled being black. I like it being dark. It helps balance the values of this little composition. But at the end, keep watching. I'm gonna put a little bit of blue over that and change this sled to a dark blue. Now, in the photo, you can't even see this child's gloves. His hands are lost in the sleeves but I'm going to add a, a glove at the end also. Now I'm putting on my red. Any red will do.
and I outlined the big sleeve with black. I also put a little black in the corner where the hair would go. I want to make the present red also, but I don't want it to look exactly like the coat. So I water the red down so it's very light. If the paint sloshes over the edges, re-wet it and rub it with the end of your brush and dab it back up with a paper towel. For the gold ribbon, you could use glitter, but I'm mixing a gold with yellow and red and a little bit of brown. It's the same colors as the face, but more yellow. Now I'm switching to some opaque white to suggest the glove. For my opaque white, I'm going to spatter. What I did is dipped my brush in the white, watered it down, and I'm going to tap it on my finger to create some spatters to suggest falling snow. If this doesn't work, you can just dot some snow in with your brush. I outlined the ribbon with a little more red and put a few dots in on the present. I take a clean, damp brush to soften up that dark line. And it kind of looks like a shadow under his arm. So that works really well. Last, I load my brush up with some blue paint and I'm scraping the edge of the brush along the edge of the card so some color shows on the front. This is an easy technique, but it makes your cards have a nice look. I'm going to do the whole card that way. Here it is so far, and next I'm going to put some double stick tape on the back and put it on my card. But remember, I told you I was going to make that sled blue also? Here's a little blue to go on top of the black. I'm using an automatic tape gun, but double stick tape around the four edges and a couple strips in the middle. You can also use a glue stick or anything you want to stick it to the front of the card. I'll give you a link to the cards. But with the double stick tape, you just simply press it on and you're ready to go. So this is a fun and easy holiday card that anybody can do. Invite your friends in to make some today. Happy Holidays!